What's going on guys, Ryan with TechSource. I'm going to screen print some transfers today. I'm super busy in the office and I'm just getting away and going to screen print some transfers. So watch me uh, have a little fun here. What's great about transfer printing is when you're going to events as a printer and you don't want to tie up a bunch of cost in t-shirts, this is a great way to prevent those ex expensive screen printed hoodies or sweatshirts, t-shirts nowadays, they're expensive. You can screen print a transfer sheet, it's only 15 cent. Take this to your event, heat press it. So, especially when you're printing this, you wanna do a one flood, one print. No need to overprint a transfer page because it's slick. The ink's gonna sit on top of it pretty easily. So you don't have to overprint this. I'm printing this through a 160 mesh. You can print transfers all the way up to a 305. They, they work really well. But I am printing this through a 160 using our Gen Series ink. It's turquoise. It's a nice vibrant blue. Not really blue. It's, it's an off, kind of like a Hornets, off Hornets blue. But I'm printing the Gen Series inks. This also works well with the Union Blue series, the Ultra Soft series. See, easy peasy, 15 cent instead of a $5 t shirt. What's good, also good about this, and what I like is a lot of custom t shirt brands, they all want their own neck label. Uh, same thing with hats. Uh, neck labels, you can fit a bunch of neck labels on one sheet. So you take 20 neck labels divided by 15 cent, your cost is extremely low per sheet of transfer versus a t-shirt. So some of our employees are gonna be happy today because they're gonna get some free t-shirts or we'll just hand them a transfer page and say, here you go. Instead of tying up our money in it. Simple. So from here, we're not done. I have a long table over here. I'm just sitting them to the side. The transfer pages are still wet, so we still have to cure them or gel them. So I'm gonna print a few more of these. But again, you can see how easy this is. Going to events, again, instead of tying up a bunch of money in your sweatshirts, having everything screen printed and trying to sell them at the events, now you only have 15 cents tied up. You take your shirts with you and you heat press at this event. That way when you're done, all your t-shirts are you don't have all these screen printed t-shirts that are just sitting there going to waste possibly. Because everybody, all families go to events, the, the sporting events, baseball events, wrestling events. And every single one of those events you go, you go to has a table that someone's selling t-shirts at. And this is your best way to prevent all that cost in screen printed shirts. Also, you can tell I'm printing this in reverse. That's a very important one, printing transfers. Unlike regular screen printing on t-shirts, you print it normal. When you're printing transfers, you must have this image in reverse. Cause when you go to heat press it, you have to turn it upside down and then that's when it's the correct way. So follow me over to the transfer powder table and then heat press. So what makes transfers work is the transfer powder. So we got a little handy dandy uh, transfer station here. Nice, perfectly cardboard box that we've taped out. Tape the sides because you don't want this transfer powder falling into the cracks and getting all over your table. But this is our transfer box. All you do from here is you take your wet screen printed transfer, put it into the box, sprinkle a little bit of powder onto it. You don't need to put a lot because once it's in this box, we'll then sift that powder around the transfer to make sure it's completely covered. Make sure all your powder falls back into the box so you don't waste any. From here, we will go to the dryer. 
You don't want to over cure the transfers. You can send it to the dryer at your normal dryer temp at 320, but I usually speed my belt up. Here is our cured transfer. You do, again, 320, normal dryer temp. Just speed up your, your, your dryer belt. How do you tell if this is cured or gelled correctly is if you run your fingers across the image, if it still feels a little gritty, run it back through the dryer. If it feels nice and soft and a little bit gelled, that's when you know that this transfer is done. So we'll go from here to the heat press. You can see how my image is in reverse. When I flip it, it's in the perfect view. My heat press is set to 325 and I'm gonna heat press this for 15 seconds and then I will hot peel this transfer. There's a lot of people out there that can cold peel. There's certain applications where you cold peel items. This transfer will be a hot peel. Started my timer a little too early, but I think I can count an extra four seconds in my head. If I can't, then I shouldn't be here. Two. My hot transfer, I always like to take a rag and kind of mat it down a little bit, and then you hot peel. From a reversed image to a perfect image, nice coverage on a t-shirt, simple. You took a 15 cent transfer page and put it onto a $5 garment. Simple, saves you money. You're not tied up into a bunch of uh, sweatshirts, again, Expensive t-shirts, and you don't have to screen print them to go to events. So I'm gonna keep printing some more transfers, get some t-shirts for our employees. Uh, this is just a fun video, showing you guys how to print transfers. A uh, Couple things to remember, always print your image in reverse. Transfer sheets are a great way to save money. Also, it's great for gang cheating. Again, pile a bunch of designs onto one transfer page, and then transfers on. Great for hats, uh, neck labels, left chest, that sort of thing. You can see here how I put two logos on one transfer sheet. So very simple, very fun, very easy. So until next time, our next video that we do, you might see me here still printing transfers. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our Facebook or YouTube or whatever the crap's at. Subscribe to us. We, we got a bunch of information out there. Thank you guys.